Hello, welcome to Right Auto Beach to have you with us. Today we have a 2014 Ford Escape crossover SUV. This is the titanium package, so it's well equipped. It is a four wheel drive model. It's got a 2.0 turbo EcoBoost, very powerful. Alloy wheels with Cooper light new tires. This is a prior salvage shadow vehicle. And we'll go into detail with that. I'll show you a history report. It's got the high intensity headlights. The body is in nice shape. The tires are good. And one of the nice features about this vehicle, uh, well, I gotta take you to the back, but let me, uh, before I do that, let me show you the inside. This is a five passenger. You got the weather tech floor mats and uh, just have the smart key fob with you. You could either press the button to open up the gate or have it in your possession and then run your foot under the vehicle and it should open it up as you can see. And that's a really neat feature to have when you have groceries or you have your kids with you. Again, have the key with you, okay? And then run your foot under the vehicle, just like so. And then it will close it like that. So it appears that the damage was on this side here, but everything is functional. All the windows work, the doors open and close. It's got the blind spot mirrors. And the reason that it's honking every time I close the door is it doesn't detect the key inside the vehicle. Now let's hop inside and show you some of the nice features. By the way, if the vehicle is off and you want to enter the vehicle, all you do is you push that button right there. It locks, see right now it's locked and then it unlocks it as well. So unlock and lock or just have it like this. There you go. It just needs to make contact with this area right here. And then you're in the vehicle. It's a smart key fob, that's the way that it's designed. Now I got the AC running. By the way, it does have remote start. That's this top button right here. Got the AC on full blast. Look at the miles on this. And you may see the lights flickering, even the headlights when we're outside, but it's not the vehicle doing it. It's the high resolution camera. See, this is the way that it is. But if I go back, you know, the resolution changes and you see it flickering. But Anyway, 69,677 are the exact miles. No misfire, no hesitation. All the windows work. All the mirrors, door locks adjust. One touch windows down, one touch windows back up. Now let me show you about the history of the vehicle. So you go to our website and uh, you locate this vehicle. You could see the history of the vehicle. So we got a 2014 Titanium Escape, okay? and it's branded salvage and the reason for that is basically when the vehicle was brand new in 2015 i believe and you could access this on our website uh there it is right here in 20 and uh, uh 221 of 15 when the vehicle had about 9600 miles so basically when the vehicle was brand new and i'm sorry about my cracked screen on my personal cell phone but uh it was declared a total loss and the reason for that was see if it's set it up here if I missed it well first of all it's had really good maintenance as far as uh, tires batteries oil changes and things like that but I thought I read somewhere that it was uh, side damage but you can see it on our website I won't take too much time here uh, let's get back to the nitty-gritty so with the titanium you get the heated seats you get the upgraded Sony sound system you connect your smartphone into this vehicle We'll choose no for now. And you control everything from here. And uh, the reason that it said that I can't connect is uh, this phone that I'm using right now, I have the Bluetooth disconnected. But if you connect it, then it detects it, and then it, you can connect it, no problem. Automatic transmission goes from gear to gear without any delays. There's your large backup camera, backup sensors. Now let's take you on a short drive, show you how the vehicle drives. In addition to this crossover SUV, you're going to find similar vehicles in our inventory. For example, this Chevy Traverse is a crossover SUV. All these other ones are claim title. Now, one of the reasons why we chose this particular vehicle uh, with the prior salvage shot on, by the way, the, the, the vehicle, uh, the damage was already fixed. In other words, we didn't do any of the repairs because we recently acquired this vehicle. And as you saw, the damage uh, was done when the vehicle was new in 2015. Here's a Mitsubishi Outlander. Now all these other ones are clean titles. Uh, there's a uh, BMW X3 that's the same size as this. 
By the way, the AC blows ice cold. Outside is hot and muggy. And it's nice and cold in here. Ice cold, I should say. Now let's take her for a spin. Now the titanium comes with the bigger engine. You can get a 1.6, which we had last week in a SEL model. But the titanium, you get the bigger engine. You don't. This particular one doesn't have a sunroof. And I would say that's a good thing. Uh, when I first seen this vehicle, I was like, you know what, what titanium without a sunroof? Is this a real titanium? Yes. They do make the titaniums without the sunroof, and a lot of people, including myself, don't care for the sunroof. And the reason for that is they leak. When they break, they're super, super expensive. I believe some of these come with the panorama roof, and that's even more complicated, so it's better that it does not have the sunroof. But it's got everything else. You got your heated seats, uh, you got your everyday features that you need, and everything on the vehicle works as it should. There's no surprises. You have to realize that this vehicle had the damage when the vehicle was new. So what is it? what happens after that when an insurance company declares the vehicle? Uh, they send it to the auction and a repair facility uh, obtains the vehicle. Now there's two possibilities. The a good chance of what I'm telling you has probably happened is that uh, a third person comes in where you have the first person as the original owner in this case you have the insurance company as a second owner because they stamped the title. Then the third person, most likely another dealer that uh, does repairables, they get a hold of the vehicle, they repair it. Hopefully they repaired it in a way that it was done properly and it seems that way. Because look, all the windows worked. And here's an important thing right here, is that you want to shut off the vehicle. Let me shut off the vehicle real quick. And then uh, let, let me turn off the radio too. And then put the vehicle in the on position. So look at all these lights flickering, but they're not flickering in real life. The light that we're after is the airbag light. What does that mean? That means that the system checked itself. The system is okay. Now we start the vehicle and there's no more warning lights. So that's a sign right there that it was done properly if the airbags deployed. Carfax does not say that the airbags were deployed, but in case they were, because you have side airbags, uh, roof airbags you have airbags in the seat and so those airbags are intact right now and on top of that the horn does work okay so sometimes when the horn doesn't work that's a sign right there so anyways uh this concludes this uh test drive of this uh, ford escape uh hopefully you come check it out and see if it's uh up to your likings because it runs and drives really nice we're gonna have it priced aggressively because of the prior salvage title and if there's something that we missed in this video that you like better explanation on, feel free to let us know. We'll be very happy to help you. Thank you.